Hi Cancer and welcome to your tarot love messages here. We're going to take a look and see what the cards are predicting for you or where your energies are right now. This reading here is intended for Cancer Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those cross-watching. Um, if you are after personal tarot reading, please feel free to reach out. I will list my email address just below the video here. So this is going to be a general spread, but I'm sure you're all aware of it. If it doesn't resonate with you, that's okay, because you're not all the same person and you're not all going through the same thing. So don't try to force fit. Take what resonates, leave aside what doesn't. All right, my Cancerian friends here, let's see what messages are coming up for you here. The Four of Wands. Okay, Nine of Pentacles, Emperor, the Ace of Wands, and I think we have room for one more here. Four of Pentacles. Okay, Cancer, for a lot of you, I feel like you need to let go of fear. Okay, the Four of Pentacles, I feel like, speaks to me the most here because you are essentially blocking yourself or you're blocking from someone entering your life or coming back into your life because essentially this fee is acting like a force field and it's preventing something from happening or it's preventing this relationship from flourishing you know you want something but i feel like the fear of this person that you want or the fear of you know the, this this connection and this ideal partnership manifesting i feel like that is overriding everything and that's overriding all the blessings that want to enter your life so Straight away, the message that I get for you is let go, okay? Let go of whatever it is that you're clinging on to. And from, for a lot of you, this is a negative energy. It's an uncomfortable energy. It's an energy where I feel like it's, it's fear, it's anxiety, it's driven by insecurities, it's driven by feelings of, you know, inadequacies, insufficiencies here. So you need to let go. Let go of these beliefs because um, you, you're doing a disservice to yourself, let go of these, you know, beliefs, these negative self-limiting beliefs where you feel like you don't deserve this person or you don't deserve for this to happen. You do. You do deserve for, you know, all these wondrous um, opportunities that love can make available to you. So let go of those beliefs because you're the one that's blocking them, okay? You've got someone here who I feel like wants to reconnect with you with the four of wands. You've got a possible reconciliation on the cards for you. But of course, you know, things are... You know, the universe here orchestrates this divine opportunities for us, but we do have free will. And at the end of the day, it's up to you whether or not you take full advantage of these, you know, this divine orchestration for you, he cancer. So I am seeing a possible reconciliation or possible reunion here with someone. But I feel like for some of you Cancerians, you're going to pass up this opportunity purely because you won't see it. OK, you will not see the opportunity here. You, you wouldn't see it even if it were a red flag waving you in the face. Why? Because you're so scared of something here. I need you to let go of the fear because I feel like what's on the other side of fear, I mean, it's wonderful. It's, it's amazing. It's, let me lift this card up any moment now. Okay, it's stuck. There we go. <laughs> that was awkward. Okay, so it's wonderful. It's optimistic. I mean, there's so much potential here the, the, it's so opportunistic okay that's what's on the other side of fee love marriage partnership moving in together a happy home um possibly you know kids okay happiness security that is, is on the other side of fee so you have to ask yourself you know which side of the numbers are you on or which side of the numbers do you want to be here cancer because i feel like there's someone here who definitely wants to come back into your life okay someone who i feel like he wants a You've started something with this person, but then you guys sort of stopped talking, you stopped communicating, um, and I feel like a lot of it was cancer driven by the fact that you were scared. And with this person's energy, I get that they're a little stubborn as well. I get that there is something about them that um, kind of, they held themselves back in a way as well. So, you know, the two of you didn't necessarily jump to make this happen. So I do get that someone comes back here. And someone possibly wants to reunite or reconcile. This person is very much romantically interested in you. Okay, they're very much attracted to you. They want to get to know you better or they want to explore an opportunity with you. Okay, this is someone who wants commitment with you, Cancer. Um, the question is, do you make this happen? Okay, do you stop being so guarded and so shielded and, you know, open yourself to the wondrous possibilities of love? Now, some of you watching this, I can almost hear you say, you know, what if I get hurt? What if it doesn't work out? Yes, that is a possibility. I'm not promising you that it's all going to work out. I'm not promising you that it's going to result in, you know, this happily ever after. It might or it might not. But if you deny yourself that chance, you will never know. And you might potentially miss out on the love of your lifetime or that, you know, happily ever after that storybook romance that you grew up reading. So 
at the end of the day, I feel like, you know, opportunities do come to us, but it's up to you whether or not you, you know, you realize them, you acknowledge them and you take full advantage of them here. The Nine of Pentacles is an energy that's encouraging you to create abundance in your life. Because again, I see Cancerians, there's so many blessings around you. Notice how there are so many people in your life who have happiness in their life or you know who are in great relationships or who have the you know who have this they're tracing they're chasing their dream, dream job or they're winning money you know they just have so many things go, going for them and you feel like it's happening to people around you but it's not happening to you the universe here it is happening to you the universe essentially is trying to communicate like look you can have all of these things but you need to start blocking your blessings you need to start believing that you can have them you do you can you know and you do deserve them just line yourself up with them okay stop being this stubborn energy um it can work with you but sometimes this stubborn energy can work against you here um so the nine of pentacles suggests for a lot of you you need to be a little bit more in harmony with your energies and the energies around you be grateful for your blessings because i do feel like there's so much here that i feel like there's potential lovers and potential romantic prospects that want to enter your life there's potential for relationships to to flourish and blossom under this energy under the energy where you're open and you're receptive and you're in alignment not in this closed off energy okay not in this closed off energy i don't believe i deserve it not in that energy so let's unblock your blocked energy here cancerians um what else there's opportunity for you to begin something new here okay i feel like there's opportunity for a new it could be with someone from a past it could be from a past energy or it could be with a current romantic partner but i feel like there is some excitement um that's coming into your life here it's inspiration it's passion it's it's an energy that feels very um, inspiring uplifting energetic key um this card shows a hand here that sticks out from this billowing cloud the hand symbolizes well in the castle as well behind symbolizes all the opportunities that are available to you in the future again it's up to you whether you take you know the first steps here the ace of wands is also allowing is also sort of asking you it's calling you to follow your instincts about something or someone some of you i feel like there's someone here on your mind whom you're scared it's like you're not scared of this person you're scared of the love that they can afford you you're scared of what potentially might you know all the good things that might happen some people i mean a lot of people are just equally as scared of success as they are of failure and some of you i feel like you want something here you want something with this individual or you want a relationship like you want a commitment you you want that happily ever after that storybook romance but you're scared of it i feel like you're not opening yourself up to it and the ace of one here the ace of wands is calling you to follow your instincts open yourself up here you know and just go ahead it's the, the ace of wands is like the green light from the universe you're being green lighted by the universe here it's telling you if you're waiting for, for a sign he can so this is it it's telling you to go for it communicate reach out initiate conversation take the first step you know get going okay stop just sitting and straddling the fence get going about something because i feel like right now you're in an energy where you have this potential to make things happen and the card is pushing you to act now instead of planning and sitting on the fence and going what if this happens or what if that happens yes it might not work out but what if it does yes this person might not love you back but what if they do yes this person might hurt you you know but what if they heal you like there's all these wondrous opportunities and at the end of the day whatever you fixate on grows here guys um, i'm also seeing a breakthrough in your life for a lot of you i don't know what this breakthrough is but it can relate to yourself your inner work if you've been doing some healing of your energies if you've been working on yourself you're finally going to reach a breakthrough here for others of you it's a breakthrough in a relationship it's a breakthrough with a connecting romantic uh connecting energy here so that's great Alrighty, um no wrong cards i'm going to take a few cards just from the angel answers and see what they have for you he cancer look for a sign okay i mentioned that earlier didn't i i said if some of you have been looking for a sign because i can feel it in your energies you have some of you are stuck because you're keeping yourself stuck okay what keeps us stuck is our self-limiting beliefs what keeps us stuck is our energies okay um you're stagnated because your your thinking stagnates you your thinking keeps you there and some of you you're looking for a sign and signs are like they're flashing neons they're all around you but you're still not seeing them okay that's because you're closed off when you're in this closed off energy you will not see any bright flashing neon signs not even if they like 
you know, red flags are waving at you, you will not see this because purely you're in this energy where you're so closed off um, and you're so guarded. So some of you, you do need to look for a sign, but looking is not always seeing. So there are signs all around you. There are signs and synchronicities that are talking to you, but you need to not only be able to look, but you also need to be able to see them here, Cancer. They may come in dreams, songs. They may also come through your intuition here. So look for a sign, but see it. Success. And when you do, success will be yours here, okay? Because I feel like for a lot of you, Again, I feel like it depends which side of the numbers you want to be on. I do see there is a new beginning. I do see there is a breakthrough. I do see there is a reconciliation. I do see that there is a opportunity for you to work on yourself. And you will be successful in these areas, okay? Don't give up. Show up, okay? Show up for yourself. Show up for this person. Show up for this new beginning. Show up for this reconciliation. Even if you're scared, do it anyway. Because isn't what that what's courage? Isn't that the very definition of courage? Peaceful resolution. Okay, for a lot of you, I feel like especially with regards to a romantic energy, you guys had a fallout. You guys didn't make it work the first time. You know, you got scared, they got shy, it didn't work, you didn't communicate, they didn't necessarily reach out. You know, whatever your story, it didn't work out the first time. That's okay, let go of it, okay? Stop focusing on why it didn't work out and start focusing on what might work out. There's an opportunity to peacefully reconcile and arrive at a resolution with a past energy. Cancer, the question is, what do you do? That opportunity is there. Do you take it or do you let it pass you by? All right, guys, and these are your messages. Thank you, as always, for watching and listening. Please show your support for um, your support by subscribing to this channel, liking, sharing. Uh, for those of you interested in a personal reading, feel free to reach out. Otherwise, bye, guys. I'll catch up with you later.